Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we actually have some pretty good stuff to go and talk about when it comes to the GameStop, PlayStation 5, and Xbox Series X restock that just happened earlier on today, which overall actually went pretty, pretty good. I was a little bit busy during my real life stuff, but I was creeping on it, looking on Twitter, and made a few YouTube videos yesterday about it, how it was pretty much pretty eminent on that. But it does seem like a lot of people got some good confirmations. I saw a lot of tweet confirmations. I saw a lot of people getting them. And overall, the drop was up for a very, very, very long time, like extremely long, probably one of the longest PlayStation drops we've seen in quite some time. But of course, it also does go a little bit hand in hand when it comes to the actual, uh, what's it called, like the actual just stock, the pro thing and all that for GameStop. As well, I do want to do a quick side note. It does seem like GameStop is going to be maybe doing some Switch OLED pre-orders. I may also have an, like a little affiliate link slash ad link down below in case they do do that at 2 o'clock. I'll have this video up exactly like 1.45 or so. So just letting you guys all know, in case you guys are curious, whenever it hits 3 p.m. EST and probably for the next like hour or so, we'll also have the Switch OLED link for GameStop. Or if I do see any other Switch OLEDs on like Amazon or Best Buy, I will try my best to tweet it on out. But I always have the Twitter down below in case you guys want to follow. And for the usual quick stuff before we fully talk about this and Walmart, I will also be watching the Walmart restock if walmart does restock the xboxes or ps5s i will also make sure to have a comment in the description down below while this video up just a little bit before the walmart drop should go and happen i'm not sure if it is looking good or not we'll probably talk about that later on in this video but just in case it does i'm going to keep on watching watch, watch a lot so basically this is one of those videos you probably just want to look in the links down below in case we see stuff and all that good stuff as well if any of you guys are brand new make sure you guys are subscribed to the youtube channel with the notifications on especially for our brand new ps5 um, little giveaway going on as we also have the Amazon links down below for the PS5 disc a digital console controller and also as I mentioned the switch OLEDs if we see them and all that other good stuff Twitter and Twitter down below if you guys want to follow as well as also Weeble sign up for Weeble deposit $100 with the link down below you guys go get free stock and free money Coinbase you guys go buy $100 worth of any cryptocurrency you guys go and get free Bitcoin like the video and let's go dive on into it so the first thing we're going to talk about first is the GameStop restock so the one major thing on that is I like I said I was a little bit busy on work and also be on the lookout for the OLED down below but it actually seemed like it went really, really good. I was kind of glancing on over at my uh, profile stuff and kind of creeping on stuff. And as I mentioned, I made a few of the videos earlier or like the past like three days or so. So we knew it was pretty much coming. And I kind of give you guys a timestamp. It was either today or tomorrow, probably like around 10 o'clock. So at least it's been pretty consistent. And we could keep on using that GameStop like tweet and email notification to basically say like, hey, there's gonna be a drop coming very, very soon. But the one major thing we saw a lot on this GameStop restock was on the fact that a lot of the pro members actually got the consoles. Now, I was a little bit animately against it because I was like, okay, they're already trying to go and upcharge you with bundles. It kind of looked a little bit like eh, mediocre, at least in my opinion, because I feel like you're paying so much extra money anyway for GameStop. But just due to the amount of people that have gotten the pro stuff, if you guys ever want me to, maybe I'll tweet out a link or put like a community post for it in case you guys want to sign up for it. But just the overall amount of people that's like actually got it from the pro membership was actually insane. Uh, so it actually, if you guys just want to be done with the restock grind, the hunt, you guys just want to get a proper one from retail and just kind of be done with it. Maybe for the next drop, I'll promote it and talk about it a little bit more. Because I mean, for an extra 15 bucks, I'm sure some people would be like, you want to know what? I've been looking for seven months, eight months. I don't care. I'll just go pay the extra money for it and get it all done, which I wouldn't blame you guys. So maybe we'll talk about that a little bit more in the future drops. But... I think the actual PS5 was up for like an hour. It was up for like probably one of the longest times I've actually seen so far. And I did see a lot of people go get W's. I saw a few YouTube comments. I saw a few tweets. I saw, saw well, like a lot of people, even in my community, go and go and get some actual consoles. So major congrats if you guys did. They did also have the Xbox Series X bundles floating around. So always nice to go and see that in general. As well, we also did go and see like... A few people, I believe, that did go get the stock not from the pro. I'm not sure exactly how that still works because they do kind of have the early access for it. It's like somewhat locked off a little bit on it. But I did also see a few other people floating around from not having the pro. And we're not sure if there's maybe like a dead set time where it's mostly dumb or just whenever the stock's out or whatever. Maybe in a few like few more months when the pro stuff is pretty much all sorted. If they keep on doing that system, it might be easier for normal folks to go get consoles too as well. But overall, it actually seemed like it was a pretty good drop, pretty big drop. And usually for GameStop, I would have like rants and complaints. But I think a lot of people who were spamming or inconsistent on it and were pretty on top of it did pretty good on the whole drop itself. So all around, always a major thumbs up and hype for that. So congrats if you guys did get your consoles. And if not, don't worry, we have a lot of other drops coming up throughout this next upcoming week as well. Like it also kind of goes, goes like it shows very good that there's a lot of PlayStation 5 stock available that people can actually go and get. And it means like that in the next drop in my last little bit longer and then the next next drop in my last little bit longer and so on and so forth because as more people get the console scalping price it goes down and of course as well if someone has a pro membership and they're kind of yoinking all the consoles if one of you guys sign up for the pro membership and get it they might make it easier but as well 
when it comes to that stuff. It also means that there's less people also competing because they already got their consoles. And usually GameStop isn't too much of a botted place in general. So that should be a really good sign in the future. But if you guys want to give your thoughts and comments on that, you guys totally can. As well, I do want to do another quick Switch OLED mention. They also might be doing some walk-ins too. So if you guys want to get your pre-orders for your Switch OLEDs in, uh, like I mentioned, I'll have the link down below for the online sale uh, if it actually does go live at around like the 3 p.m. EST time. But as well, if you guys missed that or it's out of stock online, you guys could always go check your local in-store game stops and go and, well, go get some actual stock. So keep on checking that stuff on out if you guys would like. And as I mentioned, definitely follow the Twitter out or if I see any stuff, I'll make some YouTube videos on it. So make sure you guys have the notifications on. But yeah, if you guys did get a console or did not get a console or want to give you experience on the GameStop drop, leave a comment down below just so we can all be in the loop for it. But... The next major thing we want to be on the lookout for is, is Walmart going to restock today too? Because a lot of us are focused on the Walmart stuff on Thursdays, and I want to kind of give you guys the information, live chat stuff, and all of that. So I mentioned before, if you guys just creep on the description, because I'll make this video a little bit earlier, because as you guys know, you have to make the video, upload the video, etc. So it's harder to like instantly go <laughs> and talk about it. But when it comes to Walmart, it does actually look a little bit more on the unlikely side, unless Walmart fixed their botting and weird scalping issue. Mainly because with that, we kind of we kind of saw that a lot of the stock was instantly sold out on the previous drop last week. And we also did see a lot of other stuff too, or like the past two weeks or so. So basically, like we saw a lot of the Xbox stock do fine. It was up for a while. A lot of people got it. It was all good, good, good. But as well, the PS5s are instantly sold out and they only did one wave and it was really weird. So I kind of feel like the likelihood of a Walmart drop does go down a decent bit. It's still possible. That's why I'm saying if I see anything, I'll let you guys know on Twitter or on the actual like Twitch, uh, like Twitch or I guess YouTube links down below. But uh, a lot of people still have not received their Walmart consoles from the previous last restock. And I think that's kind of a big thing that kind of shows that Walmart might not be restocking. We also haven't seen too much website updates or like add to cart links as of yet. But that maybe can go change within the next hour or so in case like I miss it or anything like that. But it does kind of seem like if anything, they might do like a weird Xbox all access. Kind of doubt it, but like they always could if they have the leftover stock. Because they did actually have six waves of Xbox in the previous drop. And the PlayStation 5, I think it will just be determining if they have extra leftover stock. Or if they somehow did not go use up all their stock from the previous drops. Like basically like if they cancel the bot orders or scalp orders that were kind of plaguing the systems last time. So I'd probably give it like maybe a little bit of a lower chance. Mainly because we saw a lot of action on Walmart throughout these past three weeks. With those like weird kind of late night drops we saw a little bit on in the digitals. The weird upgrades and all that other stuff floating around. But if like I said if we see anything I'll leave a comment down below. But it does look a little bit more on the unlikely side. But thankfully we do have the games that drop. Even though I do say it's unlikely it still could happen. We'll just have to go and see. Like it's more so on just how they handle the internal stock and everything for that. As well, two quick little side notes too. If you guys have still not received your order, because like I mentioned, a lot of people still have their orders processing and not yet delivered, as well as also some warehouse fulfillment areas for Walmart have actually been delayed for stock, which is why I think it might be a little bit more on the unlikely side, but it still could happen. Uh, make sure you guys go and contact live chat. Like 80% like of people that do talk to live chat and have delayed orders are getting like 10 to 20% discounts when it comes to their consoles that they still haven't gotten yet. As well as also, uh, it might be kind of nice just to go ask and see if they have any information on the drops. But we did see a lot of people save like 100 bucks, and it really is worth it just to ask. Be polite, even if you could save 10% on if you guys are still waiting for your console, you can go and save an extra 50, 60 bucks. And that's kind of a lot. I mean, for just doing maybe like a 20 minute, 15 minute casual live chat on your phone or laptop. I would highly, highly recommend it. So be on the lookout for that. And also, guys, don't forget, if you guys keep on checking the Walmart listings all throughout today, there is a pretty good chance that Walmart could be just listing third-party websites that have consoles at like $900, $1,000. Make sure you guys go and avoid those. Those are not worth getting. Those are from third parties. There's always a chance for scamming, or they're just extremely overpriced, or they're scalpers. A lot of people don't necessarily want to support the scalping life. They do sometimes do some weird stuff on the Thursday dates because a lot of people like even me and other people on Twitter are kind of talking about the drop and they want to see if they can maybe go yoink someone or even put it like for like $700 for someone who's just, you know, just wants to get it. Just be careful. Sometimes they do take your credit card information. They don't ship it. Send you used product. Send you broken product. It's just always not worth the hassle unless it's sold directly from Walmart. And lastly, too, when it comes to the drop, like I said, a lot of orders have not fully processed, but we have seen some live chat mentions on Walmart, so I could probably go and say that there is a chance, but we also were wrong with live chat for many, many times throughout these past six months or so, so always take it with a grain of salt. But if you guys want to ask live chat, you guys can, and as I mentioned, if there is any movement, Xbox or PlayStation, I will leave a comment down below. 
But like I said, thank you guys all so much for watching. Make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on. Switch Pro, uh, Switch OLED orders, link down below in case GameStop or other places go live. I'll make sure to link it down down. Same with Walmart. All the updates will be pinned down below. And if not, make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on as well. Make sure you guys check the Amazon links, the Twitter and Twitch stream down below. Of course, the Weeble and Coinbase. And leave a comment if you guys did get a console or did not get a console. So we can be on the lookout for all that for all of you guys. Love you guys all so much, and I'll see you guys up on the next video later on throughout today. I hope you guys all have a good rest of your days, nights, and evenings, and all that good stuff. Love you guys.